Alright, work. Hey guys, how y'all doing? How you doing? Suck dirt. Alright, come on. Come on. You know you wanna be. Come on. Hold up. You got nothing. Oh no. Oh no. Om nom nom. Mother Packer. I don't know. Yeah! Level complete. And we did it! Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Unpro Pro here. And today we're going to be making a Pac Man style game. So, to, uh, before I get started, I would like to say I do have a new schedule. Uh, it's going to be a schedule that'll last. I'm probably going to be doing a lot of pre recordings and uh, scheduling on YouTube as well. So, yeah, that way you guys, you know, you know what to look forward to. A lot of people have requested it. Uh, a lot of people were saying that, you know, it's a good idea to do that. So I did. Anyways, uh, before we get started, you want to make a little map, similar to Pac-Man. Now, you want to right-click on the map. Well, if you're still in this window, you're not going to have to right-click, obviously. Um, in the map properties, you should see a scroll type. Select horizontal. Or, you can be a little bit different and select vertical if you want to have your little warp paths, because you know how on Pac-Man, if you go off the edge of the screen, you'll come back over here. Yeah. If you want to have it like that, you can have it vertical as well. That's up to you. Or you can do both. But the most important part is to have it um, do one of those loops, and to have this little script called Lock Screen. This is a script that I've made for my 5,000 subscriber special, or 4,000 subscriber special. Um... If you want to download this, because if, if you don't feel like typing this, uh, there's a link in the description for the 4,000 subscriber video. And um, the project for the video is a script pack, and this uh, has uh, the lock screen in it. So we're going to be using this. If you do want to type it, um, go ahead and pause the video and just have fun. But do remember that it is case sensitive. So you can't have an underscore, like, okay, you can't have a, a lower G here. It has to be a capital G. This has to be a capital C. Everything has to be exactly how you see it here. All right, so when you've, when you've uh, typed all that out, we're going to make a parallel process. The parallel process will do a, it'll, it'll activate a script. You can do that by going to the third tab and selecting script from the advanced section. And then the script is going to say dollar sign lock equals one. By doing that, you create this. Yeah, it's called a little baby. It's called a it's called. All right. So yeah, you create a cool little loop, and that's how you, that's how you do that. Now are the corners. Uh, which, I'm trying to think of what items we can actually be collecting, because we don't have any power pellets. You know what? <laughs> uh, let's get all random with it. Let's say... Ooh, actually, it's not a bad idea. Hmm. But which one? You know what? All right, the haystacks. No, no, let's not use haystacks. Let's not use haystacks, man. What should we use the cactus of doom? This will be similar to the um, the power pallet that Pac-Man eats to make the little ghosties run away from him. So, anyways, now we are going to set this to the low characters. We're gonna do player touch. We're also gonna set throw on. This is important, because if you don't have throw selected, other events, like the little enemies or little ghosties, they will not be able to go in that same square. So, you can pretty much have safe points. It's not, kind of. So, if throw is not active, then it's not going to let the uh, the AI go to that uh, little spot. So, we're going to do player touch. We are going to activate a switch. We're going to name this switch power mode. Okay. 
power mode on, and we are going to do the race event. That's going to delete it until you refresh the level. So, do say all. There are four power pellets, so now we're going to make the little dots. <laughs> Question is, what are these dots going to be? Um, leaves? Yeah, leaves. We're going to be collecting leaves. Again, select throw, select player touch, and we are going to do control variables. We're going to name this variable collected. And it's going to add by one. Now we are going to erase the event. You can also add a sound effect if you wanted to. So I'm just going to, okay, there we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, that's a little bit awkwardly spaced, but it's fine. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Uh, I'm, I'm counting for a reason. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Do make sure you count as well. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 6, 37, 38, 39. All right, there are exactly 39 leaves to collect. <clears throat> Again, counting is very important. All right. Now then. Parallel process. This is going to calculate if you've completed it or not. So we're going to do conditional branch. We're going to do variable collected is equal to. And if you want to count the power pellets, just add those as well. Not 49. So there are 49. If you wanted to count the power pellets, uh, that would be uh, 43, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do uncheck the set handling. We're going to click OK. And we're going to say level complete. And then, for the sake of replayability, and for me not, you know, going to make another uh, level, we are going to do control variables collected and set to zero, and we are going to do fade out screen, transfer player. You might have to do this with a different map. I don't know if it'll, um, like, I don't know if it'll reset it. It should. If not, there's a simple workaround. Fade back in the screen, and now that should re that should reset all the stuff. Let's try collecting all these leaves. <laughs> Power pellet. Oh, this is freaking cool, actually. Heck, me! I'll be to make that level complete. All right. So we're going to have to do a different thing. We're going to make a new map. We're going to call it a happy face. And we are going to do, for, okay, we're going to do another transfer player above our old one. So it transfers us to the happy face and then it transfers us back to map one. Be because you use the race event, uh, when you re-enter the map, the event that you erased will uh, be right back. <laughs> like, it'll be right there on the screen. You can also disable dashing if you wanted to. Low complete! Come on, man! Oh, that's right, I have it um, parallel process. So, because I have it parallel process, it's not going to function um, in the other map. So what we need to do is take these two right here, we're going to right click the bottom ones, the one that transfers you back to this map and fades in the screen, you're going to do cut, you're going to click OK, you're going to go over here and you're going to do an auto run. Then you're just going to right click and paste. Let's try this out. This is fine.
Yay! Isn't this fun? <laughs> there is a car, like, humming down the road. Now it should work. Yep! Now you can restart the level all over again. Um, okay. If you want the enemies to be able to respawn, we first need a respawn place. So, I'm going to make this little section the respawn source, if you call it. So, this is where our enemies... Well, what? This is where our enemies are going to be. B. So, yeah, we're just going to have, like, four little dudes. Where's monsters? We need monsters. Here we go. Oh, that's perfect. And you'll see what we do. Let's see. Yeah, why not? Oh, that's perfect. So the enemies are going to be these little guys. <laughs> and when they get scared, they don't... Wait. No better idea. Okay, yep. That's what we're going to do. So right now... We're going to have these guys approach at a slow speed, but at the highest frequency. Do not check throw for these guys, because they will go through the walls. Uh, I believe it's event touch? Yeah. If the event touches the player, uh, we are going to do something similar. So we're going to click OK. We're going to click here. We're going to do control variables collected equals zero. We're also going to do fade out. So we're just going to copy this exact part. This is going to simulate uh, the character dying. So it's going to reset the variables. It's going to fade out the screen. It's going to transfer you to the happy face. And the happy face is going to transfer you right back here. All right, so I'm going to copy. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. We're not done with him yet. Slow down, Craig. Okay, so now we're going to do a new event page. We're going to give him the same graphic. Find the most. Yeah. Now we're going to select switch. Power mode is on. We're going to uh, do a custom, set move route, and turn, wait, not turn, move away from player. There we go. And again, at the highest frequency. And then we're going to do player touch. We are going to set event location. Uh, back somewhere here. So we're going to say like right here. For, let's, yeah. Start from here. Yeah. That'll work. That'll work. It's a little ghettoized. Um, and if you want to make sure that you can tell if, if, they're, if you're in the power mode or not, um, you can do change blending. We're going to do sub. Which stands for subtract. So, if we just have him on the map, see so yeah, how that works. See, so he's like approaching us, and because we have throws set for the little uh, leaf events, he can follow us through the leaves. Hi. Yeah, throw you better run, soccer. Hey, why are you stuck? What are you trying to get eaten? Oh, that's why. Oh, okay. Oh no. Om nom nom. He completely moves in the opposite direction. Okay. Om nom nom. Om nom nom. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we have to change a little bit of things here. Instead of custom, um, well, you do want to have custom still. We are going to do. Uh, what is it? Turn away from player. No, because that's just going to have the same situation. In that case. Let's have him move at random. After changing his blending to subtract, that'll work. Now we're gonna have to add, we're gonna add a timer um, for the power mode. So we're gonna make a parallel process. We're going to do switch power mode is on, and we're going to do control variables. We're gonna make a new variable. It's called we're gonna call it timer. And we're going to say add by one. Now remember, 60, uh, 60 frames is one second. So if the variable 
is equal to 60, that means one second has passed. So uh, let's say you want it to last five seconds. That's where a calculator comes in. 60 times 5. That's 300. So, but five seconds is not like that. Okay, so, you know what? Let's do 60 times 12. 12 seconds. So if you want it to last 12 seconds, which is an enormous amount of time considering the size of the level, but hey, we're going to do control. If um, the timer is equal to 720, which means if 12 seconds have been passed, uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna say else. Actually, no, yeah, never mind. We're not gonna say else. We're gonna re first. We're gonna turn off the switch, and then we're going to reset the timer. Maybe we should reset the timer variable. No, let's reset it after. Because if you reset it before. There's a chance that it might get added to one, and then get like a frame off later. So variables timer set zero. Now let's test out that one, two, three, door, hive, picks, heaven. Come on. So turn off. So turn off, man. Ah. Hmm. Well, the other way we can do this, if that doesn't work, it's clearly not. We can also just do uh, control timer. Start. 12 seconds. And if you want, you can have a, uh, a script to hide the timer. We're just going to change the condition of branch. We're going to do timer zero or less <laughs> oh there's also yeah it's gonna stay at 11 that makes sense there's something I forgot to do you want to do a new event page and you want to do self switch A is on now you're gonna cut this this is where you're gonna have this in now we're going to do parallel process. And right underneath control timer, we are going to do control self switch, turn A on. And right here, underneath all this, we're going to do we'll turn it off. There we go. Oh, I think it's kind of cool to have a timer to let you know um, how much time you have before. Um, <laughs> we're able to die again. Two, one, should be off. Why is it not off? I have to figure this out. Hold on. It's literally not making any sense. Oh, it is off! Ahahaha! <laughs> it was off the entire time! Wow. So, on the first one, instead of approach, we need to do uh, custom. Because he, he never reset his blending style. So, you want to do blending normal. And then you want to do move towards player. Wow. So, the variable method that I showed you actually will work. I knew it would. Didn't make sense. Right? Wouldn't. But now it makes sense. I forgot to change, uh... Yeah. See? Now he's coming back after us. But now, yep, there we go. It resets the level. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Just add a couple more enemies, and we're done. They be coming in that line. That sounded very disgusting. Um, come at me, bros. Oh no! And, and as you can see, uh, the enemies also get warped back. 
Oh! Oh no, I'm super no. Oh, we have, we seem to have a problem here, which that's quite simple to fix. On the cactus, we are going to control the timer. Um, so we're going to copy what we have here. So yeah, you're going to copy that. i got to remember to cut that part out. And we are going to do, we're just going to put it here. Now, uh, before we go ahead and finish copying and pasting those, I'm going to go ahead and show you how this works. So the timer is like going down, and it resets. So we're going to delete all those other cactus, or cacti, cactuses, cactuses. I believe the, I believe the proper plural is cacti. Bill Nye the cacti. No. <laughs> okay. Bill Nye the science guy is awesome. You can't catch me here, 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 here. What? What am I saying? And he caught me. <laughs> yeah, he lived. Am I the only one that often just wastes all the power pellets on Impact Man? Yeah! But now, you see, you see we have another problem. If in order to fix that, you simply do, before the transfer player, we are going to do, no, not self switches, we are going to do control switches, turn power mode off. And this is the game that you guys will be learning to make. This is the uh, video thing I'm doing for the beginning. All right. Um, um. Um, um. There's one leaf left. Now, as you can see, it all resets, but the timer stays there. So, why do this to me? That's a simple fix, though. Control timer. See, this is what I do. This is what I get for doing live recordings. We're going to do stop. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I didn't want to grab that yet. Alright, go wasting them. That ain't too much. Waste them. Yeah, now it'll stop the timer. What? Huh? Why? Oh, I somehow I managed to check that. Why would I check that? When did I check that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know when I checked that. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments, because I did not... I seriously don't... There's no way I could have accidentally clicked that, seriously. I didn't purposely do it. Alright, work! Hey guys, how y'all doing? How you doing? Fucker. Alright, come on. Come on, you know you wanna be. Come on, what up? You got nut. Oh no! Oh no! Om nom nom! Mother Packer. I don't know. Yeah! Level complete. And we did it! So I thank you guys so very much for watching this episode, and I will see you all later. Thank you very much. Have fun with your Pac-Man games.